now I know Blake, okay? Like, but I don't really know Blake. I know a couple of your horses. I know you're from Canada. So first of all, you must live in an igloo, right? Uh, no, we've got a house. We're, we're okay that way, yeah. <laughs> all right, so tell me first of all, how did you get into harness racing? Uh, my dad owned horses and, um, you know, he'd do it as a hobby and then uh, I dropped out of college and said that uh, I'm going to try it and he thought I'd be done and take over the business in, you know, after three months and it didn't happen. I'm still here. <laughs> Wait a minute. He's from Canada. I haven't heard him say A one time. <laughs> well, I've been in the States so much this summer I sort of forgot how to say A. You know, when you were growing up, and you said your dad got you started, but did you have any other role models? Because I just want to say this, because since it's my show, sometimes I get to talk about me. Sure. Bob McIntosh, my all-time favorite trainer, and he's Canadian. Did you have any role models? Um, well, Bob was in Windsor. You know, I always looked up to him. Like, he's probably four hours away from us. But, uh, you know, Dana Lloyd and uh, Donnie Rankin Jr., when I moved down to Windsor, I, I really looked up to him and, and learned a lot from him. So tonight, you have Courtly Choice in the Quillen, and... This horse is so special to you because you've actually had him from, like, well, basically day one. You've raced him all of his starts. So exactly when did you get him? Uh, we bought him the yearly sale at Lexington. He, uh, he's been with us ever since. You know, he's just been a great horse for us. Well, he gave you some really killer thrills. We've got Meadowlands Pace, the Little Brown Jug, among other big wins. Can you really put into words how grateful you are to this horse? I, I can't because he's just, you know, he's, he's just been so special to us and, you know, he's put us on the map. We've had good horses before him, but he's the first one that, you know, people recognize every week when we go somewhere. You know, you know winning the Derby this year, too, on, on our own track is, is just amazing. It's just something special. When you say you travel with him, let's talk about that. You travel with him. I know there are some trainers that sometimes they send it with a second trainer, but you're always with this horse, aren't you? Just about? Yeah, just about. I think I've missed one race lifetime with him. I think I had you know, six races and state races up in Canada and, and Jess took him somewhere. But uh, I travel, try and travel with all my horses, you know, like we were in Batavia Saturday, drove down here. Then I'm, right after this, I'm heading out to the jug because we got one in the jug. So I try and travel as much with my horses as I, as I can. But Courtly, I'm always with, you know, like I, I don't leave him long, you know, alone too long. Oh, what do you think makes him such a great horse? I think his laid back personality, like he can go in there now and he'd just have his head down and just be, Oh, all well, just another day, you know, he's, he's just got, you know, personality that nothing bothers him. And, uh, you know, when he got tired there at the end of the year, we didn't, couldn't tell because, you know, that was just his personality. But, you know, he seemed to have bounced back now, so we're pretty happy with him. You know, I'm glad you talked about that, his personality, because I was going to ask you, first of all, he's a stallion. So does he have girlfriends or does he have any, you know, special food he likes? Like, tell me some quirks about him. Something nobody else knows. We want the exclusive. This is like TMZ harness racing style. <laughs> well, he eats a lot of black licorice. I know that uh, everybody. For real? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody that walked by the, like we had him at Windback this morning. So all the crew came down and looked at him and uh, everybody that walked by wanted to give him a, a piece. And Jess said, like, we got to save some for after the race or, you know. So he just loves his black licorice. There's nothing else that gets him happier. Is this your first time to Delaware? I don't mean Delaware, Ohio. Okay, let's just explain something. In harness racing, whenever people are like, where are you from? I'm like, Delaware. They're like, oh, wow, well, I've been to the jug. I'm like, no, Delaware, the state, the first state already, <laughs> not Delaware, Ohio. Although I'm sure Delaware, Ohio is a very nice place to live. I do like where I am, but have you been to Delaware, this uh, Delaware before? I've never raced here. I was at Dover once, but I never raced here. And this is my first time. And it seems really nice and you know it seems like a great place to be yes well welcome yes because we have a lot of hospitality here in the first state and tax-free shopping so you gotta love that <laughs> I notice your gas is cheap so that's pretty good all right all right well i will start uh, talking to real estate agents and i'll hook you up all right <laughs> let's not go that far <laughs> <laughs> well you know best of luck tonight and uh, thank you for being on the show thanks a lot heather appreciate it